Speakers at the Star Ghana Foundation and Media General Forum have backed calls to encourage more women to take part in local governance and decision-making positions. And the forum, on the back of the upcoming district-level assembly elections, recognizes that women representation without effective women participation will still yield little results. The forum seeks to expand the debate on women's participation in the country's political decision-making. Though women represent 51% of the population, their representations in Ghana's politics is always below 10%. Head of Gender and Disability at the Electoral Commission, Abigail Nutako, noted that participation of women in politics must not be limited to being a candidate but also holding several key positions in the electoral process. It must be made clear that participation in elections does not only mean being a candidate. Usually when we talk about women's participation, people think it is women being a candidate, but they can participate as voters, as election officials, as observers, as candidate agents, or any other, apart from being a candidate. So the underrepresentation of women and PWD at any level of governance and decision making results in a democratic deficit. Women's Development Coach and Administrator at the Central University, Irama Bening, said a personal survey of 400 women revealed that 61% of them said they were not interested in politics because they fear reputation damage and political violence that characterizes elections in Ghana. She said women will not be comfortable with political participation if the nation does not get rid of violence and reputation damage in politics. On both fronts, women have the short end of the stick. On the demand side, women generally lack resources needed, especially in the district assembly level, where there are no parties to assist. How can you succeed to win the vote when all the gatekeepers in the party are men? How can you change age-old beliefs about the role of women in leadership? These are all challenges that make it difficult for women to succeed. To make this less theoretical, I decided to carry out a survey to ask women whether they would consider going into politics. I surveyed about 400 people. 31% said they would consider going into politics, but 69% said they would not. She further indicated that gender quota system has not worked favorably, adding that women representation without participation will not be the solution to all the issues affecting women. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.